In this series of tutorials, we will learn how to create uh, shapes and objects in Onshape. Uh, we will be creating, to start off with, we will be creating this toy truck. Okay. So you'll start with the simple shapes, like cubes with holes in them, and move on to the slightly cuboid shapes. So all the basic wooden parts in the middle, and then move on to the plastic parts, and then eventually end up in the wheels. So you create each part separately, and then you will assemble them all together into a separate design to create the complete toy. Uh, the first thing I would do when I use Onshape, you may have watched the first tutorial already, just go into my account, and just check on the preferences that you are in millimeters. Right? You should be designing everything to millimeters. You can go down here as well and choose AutoCAD for your mouse control, the keyboard controls and the mouse controls for the software. Yeah, it depends what you used, what you've used before, but it doesn't really matter, but it can help. So if I go back into Onshape, this is the main way of going back to your main menus. Just click on Onshape, brings you back to your main folders. When you log in, you may not have any folders, obviously. So I would, first of all, create a folder. So all your work will be saved into that. So let's call it truck. Toy. Call it anything you want, really. Create. So in here, this is where you will save work. So we're going to go to create document, and we'll call it truck again. It doesn't really matter. And then it opens up your first part studio. All right. So the idea is you will create the first cube here. You will then click on plus and create another part studio. And you will create all the separate parts in different screens or different designs. You will then use the assembly tab here and you will insert each part. But we'll get to that stage later. So let's start in part studio one. I could rename this now and just call it cube. I'll rename the second, second one while I'm at it and call that cuboid. Right. So we're still in cube. So easy, click on sketch. You will see these three planes appear like most standard CAD software have. I'm going to click on top. I'm going to create my first sketch onto the top work plane. So you move your cursor over the square. You'll see it turn orange. Click on it once. You'll see it selected, the sketch up here is now on top plane. Then you can right click and go to view normal two. Another way of doing that is just by using this control. Yeah, this will let you move through the different planes. I'll just click on the face, so turn it around to the top. All right. It is essentially you have a mouse. Don't try and do this on a touchpad on a laptop. Uh, you can, but it's just slow. Okay, so I've got, a, I've got a mouse here with a roller ball, so I can quickly and easily roll in to where I'm looking at. I can push down on the roller ball, and I can move it around as well, which is useful. And I can also hold down the shift key and push down on the roller ball, and then I can manipulate it even more. If you don't have a mouse, as I said, you can pretty much do the same thing up here. You can manipulate your viewpoint on your object by just clicking on this or clicking on the arrows to turn it in different ways. Okay, so let's go back to top. Remember, check over here. Sometimes people confuse what they've, what plane they've put the sketch onto. So click on top. So I'm back around the top. So to draw the cube, these are the drawing tools, okay, which appear when you select the surface. So when you've selected the plane, you should now see you're in the sketching tools. So click on corner rectangle, click in the middle. Always start sketches from the middle. Sorry, I'm a little bit. Left click and drag. All right, so left click on your mouse and drag away. You'll see the measurements appear. When you let go, you'll now have control. You can change those measurements. So these cubes are simply 30 by 30. So press 30, press enter and you move automatically to the other dimension press 30 and enter so you've got your first sketch i'm gonna accept the sketch now okay that's all i want to do to start off with so accept the sketch by clicking on this little green tick 
and then I'm going to press, you'll see the top menu bar is now changed. You're back to the features like extrusions, revolve tool, sweep tool, loft tool, fillet, which you will learn about in this tutorials or in these tutorials. So we'll click on extrude. I want it just to be tilted back a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just tilting the work plane back so it's at an angle. Again, I'm just going to use the mouse. Pushing down the roller ball, holding the shift key, turning it around. Get used to the mouse first of all, how you manipulate the image. Using the roller ball to roll in at certain points. It takes a bit of time. If you haven't used a mouse with these, this software before, just to get used to how you manipulate the viewpoint. So I click on extrude. It's now extruded. I want to enter obviously a height of 30. Click on the actual sketch and you will see it extrudes. All right, so I've added 30, so there's now 30 by 30 on the sketch. And I've made a straightforward extrusion. Click on new, make sure it's a simple 30 mil tall extrusion. Simple. Okay, so again, I'm just pushing down on the roller ball, holding down the shift key on the keyboard so I can move the object now and view it from different sides. Again, if you don't, you can use this. If you don't have a good mouse, you can use this control in the top corner here. Right. So now, as you, if you remember, in the truck toy I showed you, it has holes in all these bits. So I'm going to sketch again. I'm going to choose one of these surfaces, which you can see on each side of the cube. So I'll just choose the front one here and I want to turn it again so I can see straight onto it. This moves in the position of the view. So you can see here this is the back. Just click on that. So I'm now looking straight onto it. So I want to choose the circle. I'm going to try and find the center. The software helps you do that. If you move to the edge and go along it, you'll see a square up here. That is telling you that's the middle of that edge. So if I move away from it, you'll see guidelines. Okay, so that's the middle obviously from the top. If I go over here and do the same, move the cursor up and down the edge until the square appears, then roll back in, you'll see because you've because you've already found the edge on the top and now on the side, it finds the middle for you with the guidelines that appear. We'll click and draw. Just move away, click and draw, click again and enter the radius. Or the diameter, sorry. 12 mil diameter of these holes. Accept the sketch. You'll see you're back in the feature. You've got the extrude tool again. Again, using the mouse, just tilt it back so you can see what you're doing. Click on the extrude tool. I'm going to click on the circle first this time. And over here, you've got different options. New, which I'll come back to, add, remove, intersect. You want to cut this hole down in the through, or you want to cut and move this circle down through the cube to cut away the material. So I'm going to click on remove, and it automatically knows that you want to go down this way and through. It's only went down 25, it hasn't went the whole way through the object. You can see here, it says 25. You can do two things, you can just either enter 30 here, or just drag, left click and drag this arrow down past the bottom, so you see the hole coming through at the end, or the other side of the cube. That's it, accept the sketch. Click the sketch tool again, and go to the other face. And do exactly the same. Find the center, find the center, move to the middle, guideline should appear. Once you see the meeting, click and click again, 12. Accept the sketch. Using the mouse, manipulate the image so you can see sideways onto it. 
click on extrude again, click on the circle, remove, and this time I'll just type in 30 here. Just check the hole has went all the way through. So remember, this is using the mouse, the easiest way of manipulating the image. Remember, if I don't push down on shift, I can also move the object like this, just pushing down the roller ball in the middle of the mouse and moving the mouse. If I push down on shift on the keyboard and push down on the roller ball, I then get a different way of maneuvering the view of the cube. Again, the first few tutorials, just get used to doing this. Use the roller ball again. I want to zoom in for more detailed work and so on. Very easy to manipulate the view with a mouse. So last sketch on this surface. Remember, look for the orange highlight. You'll see the sketch appear. It will say over here. Then turn it around, so you're looking straight onto it. Then roll into it. Same as before, find the center with the square appears, move down this side, then go to the middle. So you have to find the two centers of each perpendicular edge first, then click and drag. 12. Accept. Start it and remove. And that is your first part. There's no save, you may have noticed, there's no save in this software. It automatically saves every single thing you do. Alright, so you just leave it, open up the cube out, and let's move on to the second part. Sketch. Do exactly the same as the last time. Click on the front work plane, you'll see it appear here. Choose the front here, it will turn it straight on. Then we draw a rectangle which is double the length of the first cube. So that is obviously 60, 30. Click accept. For a sketch, click extrude. Select the rectangle. Just turn it around again. It's always useful just to see that it is extruding. 30. And press the select. Oh, sorry, accept the tick. Sketch again. So we're on this surface now. Click on the bottom so it turns around. And see where I'm looking to. Now you need two holes side by side in the middle. So you have a halfway and then obviously two circles in the same place on each side. So we do that. This time it's a bit trickier. The best way of doing this is just using a line tool. I'm going to draw. These lines will actually just be guidelines. So what I'm going to do is as I'm drawing the line, I'm going to go up here to this tool where it says construction. I'm going to click on it and you'll see it turns to a dashed line. This is just a construction line, it just helps you draw other lines on your sketch. So click and then down to the other corner. Okay. You don't understand what I'm doing yet, you will find out. But obviously, now if I draw a circle, I can simply move along this line and find the center of it. So I know that's in exactly the right place. Remember, always remember to click. Some software is different. And you have to click at the end as you drag out the circle. Click and then it lets you manipulate the, the, the diameter. Accept that sketch. And now simply again extrude. But remember 30 and remove. So you'll repeat 
the same process for this side. There is, of course, other ways of drawing circles and so on, get them in the right place. I just find using diagonals sometimes saves you a lot of time. So I've forgotten to go up to the construction tool, click on that. So it's just a construction line. Go to here, and back over choosing the circle, find the center, and draw. You can see here this circle is actually still a construction line. We don't want that, so let's go up here and just click on that and it changes it. Click and 12 mil, same as before. Accept. Use the cursor, use the mouse, sorry, and tilt it back and extrude. Same as before, 30 mil hours. Or as I showed you before, you can just simply grab this and put it all the way through. And it should, sometimes it will stay on add, you just want to check, make sure it says remove, and you will see the difference. Then a single hole on the end here. Find the center, find the center. One, one more time, extrude, just drag it through. Left click, drag all the way through, click remove, and accept. And that's it. So you now have the cube, and now have the cube out. Okay. In this tutorial, we'll move on to do the next few parts.